Everyone. My name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to my fluid art channel today's video is a unique one in the sense that I really wanted to do a Dutch pour using two colors uh, Paints gray and white and then I added in phthalo blue and phthalo green and silver and I just really wanted to have something really uh, kind of that that catches your eye well as I was doing it, I noticed I put way too much paint and I even knew before I even started to dry that it was going to crack. So the next day, as I woke up, I did notice the cracks and what I decided to do was try this dry technique that I use. It's called a dry swipe. So technically the canvas is not dry. It's got some patches of, of wet in it, but a lot of it is dry. And so it kind of makes a texture. Uh, I'm not completely happy with this just because of the fact I really wanted a Dutch pour, um, but it was all my own fault for putting too much paint on there. But I am not disappointed in the results. All right, well, let's get you down on the canvas and let me show you how I did this one. You'll get to see the Dutch pour, how beautiful it was. You'll get to see me trying to take it from my work area to my drying area. Um, and then it actually shifted on me because there was so much paint. So then I fixed it up. And then the next day you'll get to see me doing the dry swipe. All right, well, let's get you down on this canvas and show you exactly how I did this. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, bye for now. Bye. Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm showing you this side just so you can see what I've done. I've got these gigantic jumbo thumbtacks that work really well uh, for these bigger projects. So uh, that's what I'm using. And so I put those on. And as you notice, I didn't take the cellophane off the front. I just kind of did the back. And so that way it doesn't get any cat hair or dog hair or anything actually on the canvas. So then I just need to take it and flip it over, get the cellophane out of the way. And then I can put it back on my table. So right here, just want to make sure I got you in there square. So there you go. So this is a... Uh, 36 by 48 or a three foot by four foot canvas and it's an artist loft uh, letter number three uh, so it's a gallery wrapped and um, I want to make sure that I am level I've got it so that my um, drying area is level so now I've got to make sure that this is level okay so now that's level make sure this stayed level yep Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Today we are utilizing Amsterdam white. So that is, I have it three parts paint to two parts water. Sorry for my hands. I've been painting all day, but this is my uh, big project for the day. So anyway, I've got my Amsterdam white and I have Payne's gray which is this Creative Impressions Payne's Gray. And that is actually one to one ratio. I also have Arteza Thalo Blue, Arteza Thalo Green. We have Arteza Silver and Arteza Pearl. That will be a part of this as well. Um, it is going to be pretty much, uh, I'm gonna divide it I think straight down the middle here. I um, wonder if, like if I did blue, blue, white, and I had to, no. Nope, nope, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go straight down the middle here, and then I'm gonna um, go out, okay? So that's, that's my plan. So I gotta get my paint already it's been sitting here ready to go for quite a while today but i need to make sure that it is the consistency that i'm looking for so let's see it's going uh, it's got a little bit of a mound on the top 
but it's going mostly straight in. I think I am gonna add a little bit of water to my paint. So I always keep a jug of water around and it is filtered water. And I do that specifically because I don't want different things in my water. I mean, I just don't want stuff in the water, right? So let me get this kind of stirring up and put this off to the side. We're gonna do white over here. So let me move it over here. That's better. Okay, so there's one cup and this is a three by five. So Alexa, Alexa, take 36 times 48 divided by 28. 36 times 48 divided by 28 is approximately 61.7143. Okay, so I had two Alexas going, but about 62 ounces it's going to take to cover this. So if I think of these as um, 16 cup, 16 ounces, and I'm going to need 60, let's just say 62 ounces of paint to cover it, but then you need extra. So let's say 64, I need four cups of those, right? Um, in order to, more than four cups of those in order to completely cover the canvas. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to get my sides done with the white and the phthalo blue or and the Payne's gray. And then, um, and then I will make sure I get it all over in the center, but I'm going to get my cups ready to go. Uh, you can watch me, you can fast forward, however you want to do that, but it's going to take a number of cups and I want to make sure that the paint is correct. So I'm going to get five cups ready to go with white, five cups ready to go with my Payne's gray. So let's get that. And I know I'm going to need a little bit of water. So I'll just leave a little bit of top. All right. over to the side. And after a while, you're going to, I'm going to put these all over here. I don't want them on the blue side. You're going to get used to what it feels like um, as well to make sure that they're all the same. Whoop, that one a little too much, I think. So I'm gonna move these off to the side. Stirring. Okay, so those are ready. So now let me get my blue ready. Whoa, whoa. Which it's not blue, it's Payne's gray, but it's it's like a navy blue, honestly. Now this is gonna have some bubbles. I just shook it and that's fine. We'll um, make sure that we use our torch to get the bubbles out. Almost used that all up. So, let's see. Yeah, it's a little too thick, so let me get some water going. Okay, so I've got some white um, I got a white uh, brush right here that I'm going to use and paint the white sides. So just going to kind of get it wet, kind of get it painted. The great thing is, is that, um, 
this is pretty wet paint. Pretty wet paint. It's all wet, isn't it? Uh, pretty thin paint, so it runs smoothly across the canvas. Uh, there's a lot of air bubbles in this, so that's going to be something I'm going to have to make sure I take care of. But I'm not going to tilt this canvas at all, so I really want this to spread well. Okay, so let's put that up there. Get my other paintbrush. And I should have uh, just painted this um, prior to and let it dry, but that's okay. exactly where the center is just so that I'm good on this too as well so there, let's see that's 48 so it'd be 24 24 right there okay so I'm marking it for myself so I can see it See how this uh, they are this Payne's gray is more of a navy blue, isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's one of my favorite colors. side two. Sorry if I'm in your way. I just need to get in front of here really fast to get where 24 inches is and it's right there. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Bumped ya. Move it back. There you go.
I think for the most part I'm good. I just feather this out over here. And then I'll get started. We'll get started with a spot that you like, right? This is just getting things ready. Okay. So let me put this. Uh, I may need this again, so I'm just going to put that right there. All right. Let's start. Let's start with the blue and then I'll do the white because sometimes the blue will um, splatter over into the white and I don't want that. Okay. Okay, so I don't know where my camera turned off, but I have put my phthalo blue, phthalo green, my silver, um, and my um, Aztec uh, pearl white on here, and now I am going to pop some bubbles, so. using that sucker. We'll just get it this way. <laughs> okay. All right. Are we ready? Dutch pour? Let's go. Let's do our less is more. Remember that, less is more. Let's flood it.
there's a lot of paint in there. I'm hoping it's not going to crack. So what I'm going to do is this side right here, I'm going to scrape uh, this section off um, and put white back on there again. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing. Just FYI. So let's go ahead and get this off of here. really pretty. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do something I think that middle a little bit too. I think I need to bring some blue over here but I need to get this corner done here. Okay, I've got to stop and be done. Um, if I'm not, I'm gonna 
get mad and see this later and go, stop! So, let me kind of get my air bubbles. keep saying I'm going to stop and I don't stop, do I? <laughs> okay. This is it. Looks really pretty. Alright, so let me get... I think I finally got it though. Um, kind of even throughout. Really pretty. I like it a lot. So um, I hope it stays like this. I'm going to transport it to an area here in just a minute. I'm gonna get down and show you um, the differences in all the get the paint out of the way and. down below and see all the great stuff that you can't see up high. I'm probably going to have to touch up the sides just a bit um, later. Not right now, but later. So let me, I've got quite a few bubbles over here too. Just filled this. I don't think I'm, I must not have filled it right. <laughs> oh.
What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? All right. Thanks for joining me. I got to go take it clear over there to my pool table. So um, that's going to be a challenge trying to get that done, but I know I'll be able to do it. So we'll get her done. All right. Bye. Okay. So I'm trying to take it from over here to over there. So I figured you might want to see me do it. This will be fun. Yay. All right. No, 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 no. It's gotta be steady, steady, steady. Started to move in the center. Whew. Hopefully, hopefully it stays like this. Well, as we know, it didn't stay as I had wanted. And unfortunately, I don't have a video of me doing the dry swipe. The only thing I would have done differently on this one, um, I do like the swipe effect, except for I wish that band was narrower. I think if the band was just in the middle, um, maybe uh, about four inches in, in um, width, I think it would have looked a little bit better. It's just something different and I like it and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.